Hi guys, in this lecture, I'm going to show you how to connect GitHub with Cursor AI Code Editor tool. So Cursor AI Code Editor is, is an AI driven tool. It helps developer to write code with the help of AI. So first of all, I need to open the Google search bar and in the search bar, I will type download Git and I will click this link. From this link, I will click Windows since I'm using the Windows machine. I will select this Windows 64 bit version. So this will start the download process. So I already have this exe file in my system. So I'm going to cancel it from here. Okay. Now open the exe file, click yes and click next. Okay. Click next. This is where Git will be installed. Click next. Okay. Yes. Okay. Click next. Next. Okay. Now, uh, choosing the default editor used by git so let me just show you the path where my cursor ai code editor tool is installed search cursor right click and open file location so this is where the cursor ai is installed now i'm going to select okay select other editor okay here I'm going to give the path of my editor cursor AI. Okay. Select this now click next, next. I'm not going to change anything. I will click next, next. Okay. All settings will remain the same. Now it will start installing uh, the Git in my system. So it will take some time. So you have to wait. So be patient. Okay, it has been installed. Now I'm going to click finish. Okay, now is the time to open the cursor AI app. So in the search bar, I will type cursor and I will open the cursor AI code editor tool. Okay. So next what I need to do, I need to go to the view section and I have to click this. Okay. Or I need to type control shift NP. Now you will type uh, clone okay and you will have to click this git clone uh, clone from github click this allow and copy and continue to github okay fine and here you're going to provide your username and the password okay you should have a github account i already have it i have already created this account so i will provide my username and password click sign in and then you will see okay uh, so i will click continue and then i have to provide the activation code so activation code will be displayed over here okay 740 uh, 7474 and this is 70 70 and 02 02ac continue okay now you have to click authorize visual studio code okay congratulations you are all set now you will see look these are the repositories okay now i will open a new tab github okay now these are the repositories uh, that exist in my uh, github account now I'm going to select one repository. Okay. I will select this one Cognos data set. I will select this repository in my data set. I have uh, different files. So I will select the video games. Okay. Cognos data set and I will select select as repository destination. So I will select a destination repository where I want to clone. Okay. So let me just type get hub underscore repository select this repository and this is going to clone everything okay now open okay so now what i need to do i need to do some changes in video games okay so now i will change it from rank i will change 
this column this column is set as rank okay i will name is name it as game underscore rank okay and i will do control s okay now i want this change to be implemented over here if you look at over here the the column is rank i want this change to be implemented over here so what i need to do i need to go to the source uh, section where is the source here and i will do commit and push okay the moment i will do commit and push it will do the changes over here okay this is my this is the first change okay and let me just accept it accept commit message save okay now it is doing commit and push right now okay now just wait okay i think it has been done now i need to look at the changes my changes over here just go and uh, where is the direct repository let me just go to the repository cognos data set uh video game sales this is the first change okay the message and if you look at the change look the first column has been changed from from rank to game underscore rank okay so this is how you connect cursor ai code editor tool with with github uh, at the end i would request you to please subscribe like and share thank you so much and have a great learning